Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Before we get into some Major League Baseball action for September 4th, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. So as we're into the final month of the Major League Baseball season, there are still several playoff positions up for grabs. So every game, every series is vitally important. So let's take a look at some of these games as there's a full slate of action scheduled. So we're going to go down through here. The first game we want to look at is the Oakland A's and the Baltimore Orioles. The Orioles are coming on strong and making a playoff push after being down near the bottom of the league the last several years. You can see right now they are average up. They're coming off of a two-game losing streak with a win, and they are 4-2 and two over the last six. While the A's are average down, they are 3-3 three and three over their last six games. If you look at the over-under, you can see that the Orioles have been involving games under the line in all of their last six, while Oakland in four out of their last six. That's a very good indication that this will be a lower-scoring game. Um, the score prediction has uh, Baltimore by an 8 to nothing score with a confidence in prediction of 40%. On the power ranking indicator, you can see Oakland here on the upward trend. They're at plus 29, while Baltimore has dipped down to plus 9. If you look at the stability factor, how stable the two teams have been with regards to their um, favored underdog status, you can see Oakland has been much more consistent at plus 29, while Baltimore, um, their highest was at plus 10, but that was back on May the 17th, and they're now at plus 2. In the end, though, I like the Orioles at home in a game going under the line. The next game we want to look at, as we go down through this whole list of action, the New York Yankees and the Tampa Bay Rays. In this AL East battle, you can see that the Yankees are ice cold down at the moment versus burning hot for Tampa. The Yankees over the last six games are just two and four, while the Rays have won their last three and are four and two over their last six. The pitching matchup is Frankie Montas for the Yankees, and you can see that uh, Tampa has not yet named their starter. But as for Montas, he is uh, four and nine with a nice ERA of 3.18 but he's been a very poor bet at minus $955, and his away ERA has been very bad at 5.83. If you look at the over-under, you can see that the Yankees have been involved in games under the line in four out of their last six, while the Rays have been involved in games over the line in four out of their last six. The score prediction has a very uh, favorable margin of victory for um, Tampa, 8-2, to two, with confidence in prediction of almost 65%. On the power ranking indicator, you can see Tampa has been on an upward trend over the last few days from plus 7 up to plus 19, and the Yankees are on a slight upward trend to plus 22. Are the two teams stable or not? Let's see. Very stable for both teams, plus 25 for the Yankees, plus 24 for Tampa. But you notice over the last, uh, let's say, for the better part well, of the last month, the Yankees have been on the downward trend, so they have been very inconsistent over the last month of the season. In the end, I like Tampa in this one, but I would avoid the over-under bet. Next game we want to look at is the Cubs and the Cardinals. In this classic NL Central battle, the Cardinals host the Cubs. You see the Cubs are ice cold up at the moment. They have won two out of their last four, uh, two, excuse me, two out of their last six, coming off of a four-game losing streak with a win, while the Cardinals are four and two over their last six games. The pitching matchup has Marcus Stroman for the Cubs versus Miles Nicholas for the Cardinals. Stroman is 3-6 and six with a 3.98 ERA, but has been a very poor bet at minus $897, although his road ERA is excellent at 2.05. Nicholas is 10-10 10 10 with a 3.48 ERA, also a relatively poor bet at minus $106, and he is very good at home ERA at 2.45. Uh, the teams have been involving games over the line in uh, 10 out of the last 12 games, and the score prediction, though, has it another relatively high-scoring game. It looks like 7-6 if this holds true. The confidence of prediction of 53%. The power ranking indicator shows both teams on the downward trend. St. Louis was at plus 29, or excuse me, plus 27. They have dropped to plus 13. While the Cubs have, were at plus 20 back a few days ago, and they have dipped down to plus 1. On the volatility oscillator, you can see Carlos have been extremely consistent at plus 36, or Cubs not as much at plus 9. In the end, I like the Cardinals in this one at home. They're the better team, and at 
play at home. I like them to win, and I like this in a game going over the line. The Philadelphia Phillies and the San Francisco Giants. The Phillies and the Giants are both uh, vying for playoff positions, although the Phillies are in a better position right now. The Giants have a whole lot more work to do. Right now, you can see the Giants are dead status. They have lost their last six, while the Phillies are average, and they are 3-3 three and three over their last six games. The pitching matchup has Ranger Suarez for the Phillies versus Carlos Rodon for the Giants. Suarez is 8-5 and five with a 3.42 ERA, a very nice bet at plus $718. Uh, away ERA is very good at 2.54. Rodon has been excellent at home with a 2.42 ERA. In fact, his record and ERA is better than, than that of Suarez at 12 and 7 with a 3.03 ERA. But he has been a very poor bet at minus $519. From the power ranking indicator, you can see the Phillies were on the downward trend. They have stabled out over the last couple of days at plus 7, while the Giants are at plus 3. Stability-wise, the Phillies were not very stable for much of the season. They have increased that now up to plus 11, while the Giants are at plus 16. In the end, I like the Phillies on the road in a game going under the line. Houston and Los Angeles. Both teams come into play. The Astros and the Angels at burning hot. The pitching matchup is Jose Urquidy for uh, Houston and Tucker Davidson for the Angels. Urquidy is... 12 and 5 with a 3.69 ERA and a very good bet at plus $527. While Davidson has a very poor ERA of 6.46, but he has been a moderately um, good bet at plus $84. On the power ranking indicator, Houston is at plus 27. When I look at the Angels, they increased to plus 29 and then they have dipped down to plus 17 just over the last day. The score prediction has Houston by a pretty wide margin of victory, 7-2, but the confidence of prediction is less than that of a toss of a coin at 41%. The stability factor, both teams have been pretty stable, pretty consistent. Houston more so at plus 35 to plus 19 for the Angels. You can see generally an upward trend for both teams in that department. In the end, I like Houston to win this one. They're the better team. I know they're on the road, but they're the better team. They will win any game going under the line. And the last game we want to look at is an NLS battle between the Padres and the Dodgers. The Padres come in burning hot. They have won their last three and five out of their last six, while the Dodgers are average status coming off of a loss, and they are four and two over their last six games. Mike Clevenger is set to pitch for the Padres. The Dodgers have not yet named their starter. Clevenger is 5-5 five five with a 3.59 ERA and a good bet at plus $142. On the power ranking indicator, you can see the Dodgers are at plus 26 on an upward trend and Padres on an upward trend at plus 23. You can see both teams have been up and down, though. Neither team has had very good, uh, both are very streaky. For instance, you can see by the up and downward trend on the power ranking indicator that they're both very streaky teams. Uh, the score prediction has the Dodgers losing at home by a 9-6 score with 61% confidence. Um, if we take a look at the volatility oscillator, how stable have the two teams been? The Dodgers extremely consistent at plus 52, the highest in the league, and plus 12 for the Padres. I like the Dodgers at home. I think they will win this one. Um, and I would avoid the over-under bet, though. So there you have it. Those are the games for Major League Baseball for September 4th. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.